Hey true believers, this is Dr. T and welcome to my comic book channel. Today we're going to take a look at 12 books that I'm sending off to CGC. Stay tuned. First, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're really enjoying today's content, press that notification bell. So let's take a look at the books that I'm going to be sending off to CGC. First, here's a Detective Comics number 27 from The New 52. And I've had this book for, for a while, and my estimated grade is a 9.8 for this one. Here is DC Universe Rebirth number one, so the first print. And this also, my estimated grade is that this is a 9.8. And this one is a DC Rebirth number one, fifth printing, which I believe is also a 9.8. And these, these, these last three books that I've, that I've shown you, these, these three DC books, uh, none of them are going to make me rich, but they might buy me uh, some <laughs> some poly bags and some backing boards after after selling these. So we're going to do that, and it's fun, and so I don't mind sending these in and make a to make a, a small profit. And then I do have this Darth Vader action figure variant from 2015 that I'm sending in, which I believe to be a 9.8. And then this Darth Vader number one, which I also believe to be a 9.8. And, and this one is, is going for a little bit more. Uh, I think the last time I checked here in the last couple days, this thing uh, has been going a 9.8 of this uh, CGC 9.8 for about $150. And I bought this off, off the rack. So that, that, that'll end up being a, a good return if it in fact does come back a 9.8. And then... I don't know if many of you have seen this before. You you might have. This is a reprint of the Days of Future Past story. So X-Men 141 and then Uncanny X-Men 142, the Days of Future Past story, right? And this came in the, the Blu-ray case when I purchased it at the end of 2014. I've always held on to this thinking, well, it might be worth something. I can't find this. On eBay, I think I found a couple raw ones on eBay, but I've never seen one graded. And this is definitely a 9.8. This is an extremely crispy copy, sharp corners, no wear on the spine, nothing. And it'll be interesting to see this come back in in a slab and see if anybody's interested in purchasing it because I do own the the. I have graded 141 and 142, both 9.6s. So we'll we'll see if anybody is interested in purchase, purchasing this one when it comes back. This next book I've had for a while, big Ultimate Spider fan. This is Ultimate Spider-Man number one from 2000, the Dynamic Forces variant you see right there. I do have the certificate of authenticity that comes with this book, but I've had this now for several years and this is an extremely crispy copy. I remember I, when I first bought this, I had never, I didn't even take it out of the bag. It looked so nice on the spine. And just for the first time, just a, just a few days ago, took it out, looked at the back spine. It looked just as good as the front. And we're going to send this out. And I believe this to definitely be a 9.8. So we'll see if it comes back as that. This next one is a silk number one from I believe 2015. I bought this off the rack and at a closer look I thought this is worth sending in. I believe this is going to come back a 9.8. It could be a, a near mint plus but I really do think this is a near mint mint copy and this has been going for a decent amount as well online. Of course checking all of the the prices that these have been going for on GPA. My, my brother-in-law uh, have a have a, a a joint account, if you will, with GPA, and we did that for a month, and now we're going to try out Cover Price for a month, and we've liked both of them. We like how Cover Price though t takes raw and graded copies from five sources versus GPA just being 
just being eBay, I believe, and we're going to give that a shot. And it's nice to have those resources when determining, is this book book worth sending in? Am I going to get a decent return on it? Here's another book that I showed in an earlier video that I'm sending in, Venom Lethal Protector Number 1. This is a really crispy book, spicy copy, and definitely a 9.8. And if it came back anything less, I'd be I'd be shocked. I've uh, inspected all of these books, front, back, in the light, different angles to make sure I'm not missing anything on the front or back cover. Flipped through the pages carefully to make sure that there's no there are no surprises. Because again, if I'm sending this in, it's got to be it's got to be a 9.8. So we'll see what it comes back as. I'm sending this one in for my brother-in-law. He bought it with. A number of books from a from a local guy who was just trying to sell some comic books, and he bought this very nice copy. This is likely going to get uh, a nine point four. I think this is a near mint copy. There's just a couple spine ticks here, uh, very uh, small color breaking spine ticks, but they're noticeable when you look up close. But at a distance, this is a stunning book, and so yeah, Silver Surfer fifty. He just, I'm going to have to get over to his house and show you the books he's bought only in the last, I think, five weeks. He's been uh, collecting comics and he's really enjoyed it. He already, in that amount of time, has some banger books that are going to be worth taking a look at. So, so that video is going to be coming up one of these days. And then these last two books I found for a steal while we lived in Tallahassee. Here is X-Men number 25. The, the partial sketch variant, I believe is just listed as the variant cover. And so I have the, the, the first printing, the regular printing in a 9.8. This copy along the spine, see right there, I don't even have to look at it. Right there, there is a bump on the spine right there, a very tiny color break but there is an indent, and I thought, boy, if this could get pressed, this is guaranteed 9.8 near mint mint copy, but I contacted Erod, and I've watched some of his other pressing videos, and he specifically mentioned these books with the hologram that they they cannot be pressed because of the hologram, so I'm just going to have to settle for what I believe to be a a 9.6 copy of this book. Oh, the the corners are so sharp. This top corner has a... I bought this book for 50 bucks. Can you believe that? Couldn't believe it. This top corner has a very tiny color break and very, very tiny off the edge, but it's, it's, it's hardly noticeable. I recently watched... I recently watched Bry's comics explanation of what's acceptable for what what defects are acceptable for a 98 really enjoyed that video I highly recommend it I'll even leave a link of it down in the description below as well as Mint Hunter Comics also did a video talking about the defects that are acceptable in a 9.8 very helpful the books do not have to be perfect they are allowed a certain Uh, amount of of flaws, hardly noticeable flaws, of course, but we'll just see what happens with this little dent right here, this tiny, almost unnoticeable color break. And then the last book here is The Gold Variant. This book is spicy, crispy corners. This spine is beautiful. It does have a little bit of bindery tears on the top, but that those are acceptable defects in a 9.8. Otherwise, the spine is stunning. Look at that thing. I bought both of these books. This, this LCS in Tallahassee had both of these things. I was there examining them for a little while. Look at those holograms. Look how fun that is. Look at that magneto. Gam- Magneto on this one, Gambit on this one, and I was, and I was examining these books for a while, and just had to pull the trigger. I thought fifty bucks for, for each book, 
or $50 for this one, $50 for this one, was a slam dunk deal. Couldn't believe it. 9.8, at least a 9.6, and there you go. So that's all for this video, and remember, comics for life.